What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to today's episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed. The series where I cover all of the lines of sight, jumps, spots, as well as dynamic map elements on every map in Call of Duty Ghosts. In today's episode, we're going to be moving back to one of the original maps and taking a little bit of a break from the Onslaught DLC. So the map we're going to be covering today is Chasm. Let's get into it. Alright, so starting it off, as always, let's cover Domination Capture Spots. For the A flag on this map, my favorite place to capture is actually all the way back here and then just laying down behind kind of this rubble here. If you want to crouch and stand up a little bit, you can see into that doorway on the top of the stairs, or you can just crouch down like this and use this for cover. Most people are going to be capturing behind this rubble here or this car that's laying on its side, and this is a pretty good spot to capture from, it's just the predictable spot to capture from. And I like being less predictable than the average player. Moving on to the C flag, there's nothing really worth mentioning about this flag. It is completely wide open here. For the B flag, most people are just going to capture right up next to this wall here, and this is honestly your best place to capture from in almost every situation, because you can kind of fight back, and you force your enemies to come close to you in most of the situations that you'll find yourself in. If they're coming from this direction right here, I like to move a little bit to the left side, and that just kind of avoids the longer lines of sight from snipers that might be sitting way at the back of the map. And another thing I like to do is I can just lay down right here, and this is just one that'll take a lot of people by surprise if they're coming from this direction, because they'll come around the corner like this, and everyone always looks to the left as they come around this corner, and oftentimes you can pick them off and kind of take them by surprise by doing that. Alright, so starting it off at the A flag, I have a great first blood spot if you use sniper rifles or marksman rifles. So if you spawn at the A flag, enemies will be coming through that doorway right there. It's almost every single time they're going to come through that doorway. So if you come all the way back here, you can actually lean around this corner and pick them off as they come through there, and there is absolutely no way they're going to see you there. Now, I don't recommend sitting here all game or anything. It's just great for that first kill at the beginning of a match. Now, way at the back of the map here at A, if you want to get a line of sight on A from down here without exposing yourself the normal way, you can come up on top of this light pole right here and kind of move over to the right, and you can get a line of sight towards the A flag. I don't really recommend this because you are extremely exposed to everywhere else, but it's nice to know it's there. An alternative to that spot that I actually use and is actually practical in a real match, if you want to get a line of sight towards the A flag, if you happen to be way at the back here, is this spot right here. You just jump up this way, you can look through this crack towards the A flag, or you can look over top, either way works, and you have lots of cover and you can just hop up from here if you need to. Now right next to those last spots, I'm sure everybody knows this by now, or just about everybody, there is this palm tree that's leaning over the edge, and you can walk all the way to the end of it. I really don't know why you'd want to do this. It was kind of interesting for Infected when the game first came out, because some people didn't know about it. But now everybody knows the spot, so I really don't see a reason to be out there. Getting over towards the B side of the map, but still along the back edge of the map here, if you expect enemies to be coming through this direction right here, a great way to take them by surprise a little bit is to actually walk out onto this metal beam thing right here, and you can look right over this way just like that, and you can use this uh, big concrete pillar here as cover. Just don't fall off like I did. One last thing to point out by the A flag is if you're coming up this way like this, I like to just turn around and jump up rather than going all the way around. It's just much faster and more efficient. Getting into the second story of this building right here, if you want to get a line of sight over towards the A flag without standing right in the open there and exposing yourself at the top of the stairs, because that's exactly where they're going to look, you can come right back here and get a line of sight that way, or you can hop up on this to get a little bit of a better angle on those guys. And you're much harder to see by being way back here. Another thing to point out in this second story right here is this elevator. A lot of people know you can do this now, but just in case you don't, there's actually a beam right here that you can jump across to. And a lot of people like to camp up here. I don't really recommend it because you have nowhere to go once you're spotted. You're kind of screwed. So it might be useful for maybe a kill. But that's about it. The way I like to use it, however, is I jump across to the beam, turn around, and quickly jump and catch the ladder on my way down. It allows me to get down the elevator shaft really quickly and really quietly without damaging myself at all. Getting over by the B flag, if you want to get a line of sight onto a big portion of the uh, capture area of the B flag, you could stand back there with a sniper rifle, but I like to jump out onto this ledge right here and then come all the way around. It looks like you can't do this, but you can actually do it, and you can lean around this wall. You get a line of sight on a pretty good area of the capture area of B, so you might be able to pick a kill off there and uh, work on your lean kills, especially with a sniper rifle. Now pretty much right next to that, if you want to get up onto the sky bridge right here, 
All you have to do is run up this ramp and then jump across to the sky bridge. A lot of people don't know that you can do this and they waste their time going all the way around. Over on the other side of B in this building that's kind of falling apart, there's a really common spot for people to sit right in there and they'll defend the B flag from there. So if you're coming from this direction, you can jump up on this table, use that pillar for cover and you can shoot through there. They're going to have a much harder time seeing you if you're coming from this direction. Now backing off even further, I have a really nice line of sight, especially for snipers or maybe LMG users or marksman rifle users. If you want to get a line of sight on the B flag without standing right up here out in the open, I like to come back here, jump on whatever this thing is right here, and then jump on top of the uh, payphone. Once you're up here, you can get a fairly nice line of sight there, and you can actually lean around this pole, so it's really good for farming lean kills as well. Right in the top story of this building right here, I'm sure a lot of you guys know you can do this, and it's not really a super useful spot, but people do like to come out here and sit up this way to maybe defend the C flag, and other than that, there really isn't a practical use for being up here, so just be aware of people that might be sitting up here. Now right over here by the sea flag, some people might not know about this. I know for most of you it's going to be really obvious, but you can jump up this way if you need to. Right next to that, you can actually run up on top of this truck right here and then jump across to this thing. And it's not really all that useful in most game modes to stand up here, but there is a bomb site right there. So it is a good place to watch the bomb site, but a lot of people have caught on to this spot and they'll be checking this spot. So it only really works against beginner players. Now another way to get up on top of there is obviously from right over here, just onto the ground, you can just mantle up and there you go, you're on top of it once again. Now a really similar spot that's actually even more useful for search and destroy or search and rescue is to jump across to this bus right here and to sit on top of this bus. You can see all the way down to the bottom of the escalator there and you can see people that'll be coming up towards that bomb site. Of course you are extremely exposed to everywhere else on the map so just be aware of that this is really situation dependent when you know that they're coming from the underground area. And another way to get up there, just in case you didn't know, is from this car, you can just jump to the corner of the bus. Going down into that escalator, this is where that bomb site is right here. I have a great way to defend that bomb site. Now, a lot of people know about this spot right here. It's really useful for infected, and a lot of times defenders will sit right here as well. Most people have got onto that, but a great spot is to actually jump up here and come all the way over this way. It might look like a stupid spot, but look at the way all the pillars are right there. The enemies won't see you until they're at that point right there. In which case they're not typically checking up here, they're almost always already looking towards the escalator, so you often take guys by surprise. Just look at what the enemy would see as they come through here. If they know about this spot, they'll check that way, they won't see anybody, and then they'll start looking towards the escalator. And that's where you pick them off and they won't be able to see you. Now getting back onto street level, right by the C flag, here's a reverse to that sort of first blood spot that I showed you with the A flag. If you want to pick people off as they come through that doorway, you can jump on this trash can and then edge your way over so that you're kind of head glitching over top of this phone. A lot of the times people won't look for you here and you have quite a bit of cover to be able to take them out from. Now in the restaurant here, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this, it looks pretty obvious to me, but some people might not know. You can jump on the tables and jump up this way and then from here you can also jump up onto the patio. From this patio right here, I have a great way to get a line of sight onto the C flag without exposing yourself like this. All you have to do is come back here and you can look right through this window and see almost the entire capture area of the C flag. And there's almost no way they're going to spot you here. Alright, so finally, before we get into the dynamic map elements on this map, I have a really campy spot right here, but I thought I would point it out to you guys more for your information so you can look for campers that are sitting here. So if you expect people to be coming from that direction, you can jump over this way and use this for cover. Like I said, it's extremely campy and I don't recommend sitting there all game. Just watch out for people that are. Alright, so now let's cover all of the dynamic map elements on this map. The first one is this bus right here that's kind of leaning off the cliff. You could go inside here if you wanted to and maybe get a line of sight over towards the B building. But if you come outside here and if any explosion goes off anywhere near this bus basically, it will detach and will fall off the cliff. And obviously if you're inside when this happens, you will die. Alright, so the only other dynamic map element on this map that I could find is this elevator right here. You can kind of use it, this is the way it's supposed to be. It's just set up like this, you can jump inside and jump across. If you blow it up with one explosive, it will kind of explode and drop down a little bit like this. So you can still use the top of the elevator to uh, jump across here. And also from the bottom level, you can use the inside of the elevator to uh, jump across that way as well. So it kind of opens up this little jump spot right here. Now what a lot of people don't know is if you set another explosion off on this elevator, it will fall completely down into the chasm there, and it will kill anybody that's on or in the elevator. 
Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Maps Exposed. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.